What's going on, everybody? Slay and Asher here, bringing you the next episode in our blind LP of Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. On the last episode, we tracked down the Light Frog, we beat him, and we decided to finally head on to Flanor to catch up with Genus and Rain. And when we got here, unfortunately, as you can tell from the looks of things out here, Lloyd beat us here, and he did a pretty good number on the town. Lloyd. Why? Why us? Hmm. Wow, this place is tore up. Get away! Okay, wow, he bent a light post. Did Lloyd actually do all this? I can't believe it. Believe it, Regal. But you heard what those people said. They said that Lloyd did this. That is true, but... Face the facts. Lloyd did all this, just like he destroyed Paul Macosta and Lewin. Lloyd, wait. Oh boy, here we go. Lloyd, did you really cause all of this death and destruction? Tell me. I can't believe it. You despise this kind of cruelty, you more than anyone. Answer me, Lloyd. I'm in a hurry. You bastard! <laughs> You've improved. What? Looks like I'll have to speed things up. Come back, you coward! So that's what Lloyd's become. Yes, he's like that every time we see him. Why does he keep doing these horrible things? So, Regal, what's it gonna be? We're gonna pay that bastard back for all this. You still wanna come with us? If I recall correctly, your objective is to get all of the Centurion's cores. It's the same thing. Not quite. Doesn't locating the cores take priority? But would you be able to fight against Lloyd if it comes down to that? If necessary, yes. That wasn't the Lloyd that I know. I want to know why he's changed so drastically. And then I want to save him, just like Lloyd saved me. I don't want to burden you, but I hope you would allow me to travel with you a while longer. Why the hell wouldn't we? You're a good fighter. I... I trust you, Regal. You treat a kid like me as if I were an adult, an equal. I haven't met too many people like that before. And you're no burden at all. We'd be happy to have you along. Thank you. So how should we proceed? Shall we follow Lloyd? Like Regal said, the most important thing isn't revenge. It's the Centurion's cores. There's supposed to be a Centurion's core around here. It's where Celsius used to be, right? Hmm. In that case, I'll show you the way. But first, I think we should do whatever we can to help the people of this city. Yes, I was going to say the same thing. Me too! <laughs> I think you're rubbing off on me, Emil. Now when I see someone in need, my first instinct is to help them. Then let's split up for now. We can help more people that way. We'll meet back here once things have settled down. Right. Emil, you take the church. Marta left the party, Regal left the party. Stay back. You got it. I can't believe he bent a light post. Ugh. Regal! Oh, Emil. The city was hit hard, but they should be able to get back on their feet with the right help. 
I'll need to contact my company's disaster recovery division for assistance. Your clothes. I gave them to one of the injured. It gets pretty cold here at night. They're thin, but they're better than nothing. And... And? We're going after Lloyd. There's no telling what may happen. Those clothes are not appropriate for fighting. For my friend, I shall endure these clothes, this humiliation for a while. Everybody needs a friend like that. That's why. And you would. What the heck is that? Spinner, half plate, battle plate. I'm gonna have to do some grinding. Which is gonna mean playing off screen for a little while. my healing arts to help the injured, but there's nothing I can do for the people who passed away. I feel so powerless. It's just so frustrating. Mommy? Oof. That one hit in the feels a little bit. That one hitting the feels a lot of it, actually, if I'm telling the truth. Uh, sorry, folks. Uh, let's keep exploring town here. about me. The smell's coming from this guy. And then, make her say she likes me, and she'll hold my hand, and give me a long, passionate kiss, and she'll say, Dex, I could never live without you. And then she'll plead with me and say, marry me, I love you. So this is Dex. <laughs> Hmm? What do you want, kid? Uh, nothing. Don't tell me. What the hell is wrong with this guy? What? You've got a crush on me, too. Ah. Huh? Ah, yes. The mail order catalog did say that this Otis Seduction cologne would affect men and women alike. Oi. No, I don't... Don't be embarrassed, kid. I understand how you feel. But see, I've already promised myself to another. What the hell is this guy doing? Is he gyrating? But perhaps this little rendezvous was meant to happen. I shall leave you with a gift of some of my ever-fragrant Otis Seduction. No, really, I don't need it. Oh, did this... 
Oh, the sub seduction was forced on you. Farewell! What was that guy? Hey, young man, if you have a free hand, we could use some help carrying the injured. Yes. I don't have words for what just happened. It looks like things have started to calm down. I'm glad we could help, though I wish they weren't needed in the first place. By the way, did you see Rain or Genus? No. I see. That worries me. They should have gotten here before us. Do you think they got caught in... Fretting over that now won't accomplish anything. Shall we depart to retrieve the Centurion's core? Tenebrae, you can be so cold-hearted. Why would you say that? Marty joined the party. Regal joined the party. I'm sure there's gonna be a skit. No skit? Really? I'm shocked. Hundun and swap him with Regal. Should really send Hundun back and get me a different element so I'm covered. I think I'm gonna go do that real quick. Now, yeah, Lloyd is so cool. Party. Take Hun done out. I already have fire. So I could always bring McLear with me. I could bring Sable back for a while. Sable or McLear? Who would I rather? Bring? You know what? I'm gonna bring Sable back out for a while. And that gives me many different elements to work with, even though... Well, no, I take that back. Everybody should be a different element. Dark, holy, fire, water, wind, lightning, frost. Yeah, everybody's a different element. and get ourselves back to the inn. <sighs> Sorry folks, got a case of the yawns all of a sudden. Wait a moment. You're... Thanks a lot for helping out. Because of that foul-smelling guy, people were avoiding the church area, but you stepped right in to help. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, I wanted you to have this. I brought it back from a merchant that just came back from Mizuho. Obtained Water Spider. What is it? He said it allows you to walk on water. I have no use for it, so I want you to have it. Come on, take it. It's a show of our appreciation. Well, thanks again. So he just gave us something he doesn't want? He could have given us something better. True. Something tells me that's going to come in handy. If I may bring up our previous discussion... Which one? You mentioned that I was so cold-hearted. Though it may seem that way, in actuality, I am quite kind. Oh, that. Yes. For example, if a monster is near death and suffering, I do not hesitate to use my powers to bring them under my control. And in battle, I always make sure to finish off an opponent, no matter how much they beg, 
before they have a chance to regret fighting me. And that's being kind? Yes. Among Centurions, I am known for my moderation. <sighs> you know what? We're going to go back and we're going to look at that coffin thing again. How could Lloyd not answer me? You still want to save him somehow, don't you? He is my friend. What kind of person was Lloyd before? Well, he was an optimistic, straightforward, and compassionate young man. He followed his heart, so he tended to act without thinking through his actions, but I found that innocence to be a positive trait. That doesn't sound anything like the Lloyd I know. That may be. I wish I could somehow introduce you to the Lloyd I once knew. Maybe then you'd understand how confused I am at this situation. The flow of time cannot be reversed. No, there are those who can manage the task, but for humans it's exceedingly difficult. Indeed, and as much as I long to see the Lloyd of old, we must deal with him as he is now. My apologies for having broached such a topic. Hmm, interesting. Said we're gonna go back up to the church real quick. I believe this is the item shop. Oh, lemon gels. Ah, that freaks me. Sorry, some of these, some of this in-game art is actually very pretty on some of these items. The thing must have had something to do with Dex. It had to have. Church. Aha! Well done, you found me. I am the mysterious gourmet, the Wonder Chef. I shall give you this as proof. Use it well. Obtain the recipe for Groton. Marta obtain the title Apprentice Cook. Now then, farewell! And that's exactly why I decided to explore. I wasn't going to miss that dadgum wonder chef again. That weird sarcophagus coffin looking thing must be connected to Dex. So now that we're done here, uh, let's go save first. Since I've got this sneaking suspicion, we're fixing to get into a dungeon again. Okay. Down we go. Okay. Temple of Ice, a temple inhabited by the summoned spirit of ice. Parts of it are destroyed by overgrown plants. Go to the Temple of Ice. Go. This should be interesting. Well. This is a surprise. Flanor was unusually warm, but now the ice here is melting. Is it normally much colder here? Yes. This whole area used to be covered in snow and ice. How unusual. It looks like this might be a Celsius's tear. That voice! Isn't that rain? Temple of Ice it doesn't really look like a Temple of Ice at all. Hi, guys! Genus! You're alright. Did something happen? 
It was terrible. When we got to Flanor... No way. All those poor townspeople. This is very strange. Flanor has never opposed the Church of Martell. Rain, is that all you have to say? This is important. Why would Lloyd attack Flanor? Maybe he just wanted to kill more people. No, that doesn't make sense. You fought Lloyd before, but he chose not to kill you. I see what you mean. All the cities attacked up until now had been opposed to the Church of Martell, or at least suspected of it. Come to think of it, why did you two come this way? Oh, right. We discovered something terrible, too. We came to look for the Centurion's core, but... Lloyd got to it first? Not Lloyd. An accessory seller has it. What? We ran into the owner of an accessory shop just as we arrived. He was carrying the Centurion's core. Lovely. When we asked him to hand it over, he said he couldn't possibly part with such a valuable item. Most unfortunate. That man is in danger. Normal people can't hold them for very long. You're right. The core will warp the soul of any normal person who handles it. Affected parties are typically consumed with the desire to destroy everything in sight. He may become violent or even murderous. Lloyd! If that's true, wouldn't that explain Lloyd's attack on Flanor? You mean it's the Centurion's core that's making him act this way? We have to go after Lloyd. Which way was his Rayard headed? Um, to the south, I think. South from here. He could be headed for Meltokio. We'll leave Lloyd to you two. The rest of us will go after the Centurion's core. Regal, are you sure? I'm the one who requested to come along, remember? Then that means we'll be parting ways with you two again. You guys will go after the Centurion's core, and we'll go after Lloyd. The odds are good that our paths will cross again soon. Until then, be careful. Right. Well then, farewell. Oh, Rain, about that letter. I read every word. Wait, does that mean that you two are... Thanks, Rigo. Okay, Genus, let's go. That letter wasn't a love letter, it was about... Emil, I almost guarantee you. Wait, but, but... Poor Genus, he's just getting drug off. Oh, the passion of love. It makes my heart race. Anyway, we should find that accessory shop in town. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he was embarrassed. How cute. Emil, if you wrote me a letter, I'd read every word of it, too. Oops, I'm not supposed to say things like that, right? S sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Huh, I'm so jealous. Why's that, Marta? I was just thinking what it would be like to be in a mature relationship like Regal and Rain. I mean, it's so exciting. A mature relationship? You mean like having meddling in-laws? Being so poor you have to share a tiny piece of bread between the two of you? Huddling under a single blanket to ward off the cold at night? Ugh, that's so romantic! Well, apparently it didn't work. I'm gonna explore a little bit because, well, I can. Yes, though it's much warmer here than it was before. It's hard to believe things like this happen just because Ratatosk is asleep. Lord Ratatosk brought us, the Centurions, together to command the monsters and restore balance to the mana flow. It's the only way to maintain stability in a world where mana didn't originally exist. What do you mean by that? Isn't mana the source of all life? According to Lord Ratatosk, Initially, this world was without mana, as the mana from the comet Deris Karlan accumulated here. The giant Karlan tree took root and forever changed the environment of this world. How long
long ago did that happen? Let's see. About 10,000 years ago, at the very least. That long ago? It boggles the mind to think about it. Hmm. It really does. Hmm. Well, I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode off here because, as I said earlier, I need to do some off-screen off grinding so I can raise the money needed to get my new equipment. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed this episode, please be sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. I appreciate your support. Also, if you check down in the description, you're going to find links to social media, which will be the easiest way to keep up with new videos and all that fun stuff. All that being said, y'all know who I am. I'm Slane Asher. I'm the guy who talks into your ears while he plays video games. I'm going to get out of here for right now. But y'all have a good one, and we'll see you on the next episode.